Hello there everyone, Robert here, and in today's video I want to go over creating a test version of your website. I always find this really useful when I want to increment a few little things on the website, maybe make an update to the site but not have it be visible to the general public while still actually accessing it via browser as opposed to just the editor itself. So with that, any, without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So I'm here actually on wixvault.com. This is the website where I upload a lot of the videos that I create. Uh, there's actually a back catalog here. So if you are watching this on YouTube, feel free to check out the website. Again, there's a lot of older videos that I haven't migrated over. So go ahead and check that out. I might move most everything over at some point, but for right now, a lot of the older stuff lives here. But I'm using this website just because I want to showcase it because I've done this myself on here. And this is very useful if you want to maybe test a few things out on your website for a client. Maybe you want, maybe you're making changes to the website and you want to show it to your client, but you don't necessarily want to publish for fear of maybe something's broken. Maybe you don't want someone to get the wrong idea. Maybe you want to showcase them an upcoming like sale and hey, here's a design for the site, but you don't want the general populace to be able to see that. So there is actually a feature within Wix Studio that allows you to create a test site. Effectively, it adds a parameter to the website. That's the, usually if you see a question mark on there, a lot of times you might see it with like L-A-N-G equals the language denomination that's there. So that's a kind of a version of the website. A lot of times you might see it multilingual, but Wix also uses it for test versions of their website. And I actually really like this update too, because previously, the parameter would be question mark equals like revision number like 404 uh, because it's based on when you save the editor. So just if you want to know that uh, back story with it. But I, again, I find this a lot better because if you do want to maybe make an update and then push out another version of the test site, granted, you might maybe want to wait a few minutes before just making the test version of the site and then sharing it but you can use this to be like hey client here you go uh i updated this maybe they're like yeah okay we try a different color sure let's update this and what do you think about now what do you think about it now okay yeah now it looks good thanks let's test that out maybe or yeah no this is good publish this and i'll showcase how to do that right now so i actually want to showcase that here with a button that i have down here i was going through this site and looking at it and that's kind of what motivated this video. Plus also, I, I haven't seen a lot of videos talking about this feature, which I think is really cool. Um, I do want to mention if maybe you did want to A-B test this, while Wix does have analytics, I don't think it checks for parameters. So it won't check if maybe you're doing this on the homepage, it won't check the homepage performance versus equals test, like revision test site. So it's not going to necessarily check that for that. You might maybe need a third party tool like Google Analytics and check the exact URLs as they are written and see which one is performing a little bit better. Indexing wise, they will function the same. Again, effectively, it will make a fork for clients to or visitors of the site. You're going to land in version A or version B. But yeah, again, I wanted to ch change this because I realized I'm like, oh, it looks a little similar. Like if the button is disabled and it's not available to click through. So I'm like, oh, well, let me test this out and maybe try like a different color, maybe like a blue with a little bit of shadow and just kind of get like an idea. Like maybe this kind of motivates people to check through, uh, maybe add like uh, change the color as well in the background for this because it hovers a little dark. So I'm like, maybe I want to lighten this up a little bit and make the again like just change it up a little bit I'm not gonna think about it too too hard but let's kind of look at this and i kind of showed it there let's see kind of what this looks like and again i might maybe add like a little bit more of an animation but i don't want to spend too much time with that for the video but again you can see on uh hopefully you caught it there but beyond previewing the site, there's actually a drop down arrow that you can choose here. There is another entry point for this result showcase. If maybe that's easier than, I don't know, maybe have difficulties clicking the arrow. But in addition to previewing it, you can also create a preview as test site. And what this does is it creates a test version of your site and view it on another tab. 
and this is actually live so you can showcase and share this with other people granted there is a feedback tool i did a video about that you can see it in wix fall coincidentally enough about showcasing this and seeing uh the actual website and leaving comments but this might be useful if maybe you just want to be like hey really quick what do you think of it go here to this url as opposed to maybe here's this long url parameter you have to accept the term or you know sign into your wix account if you just want to showcase this really quick i i much prefer this method if you have questions about that other version the like getting feedback from clients uh, i'll share the video below if you want to check that out but that's actually another cool way if you want maybe someone to go through the entire website and leave their comments for you to see maybe even update it with the media that's necessary but yeah let's go ahead and we'll preview this as a test site uh, i do want to mention the other way to do it is if you want to go through like here the menu site and create test sites that's the all the other option to do it uh, again, if maybe you want to always make sure this is preview and again, if you want to do the preview as test site independently, you can. If you actually do put preview as test site, it'll kind of override the default as preview. But cool, again, and we can see on here the URL parameter change. So again, now it's question mark RC equals test site. And again, now we can see on the live version of the site, it's this blue like button now. Whereas if I go to the regular website, we can see it's like this default brown color. And again, I didn't really have to change anything out. It's just that parameter is the one that's doing that work. So I do want to mention as well, if you do want to edit the exposure, if you do want to use this to beta test the site and do a B split testing, uh, let me actually reload this here. I'll share the link on this. I had a little bit of difficult time finding it in the settings. I don't know if they necessarily maybe move things around, um, but you should see it in settings release manager. Again, if you have difficult times, if you're following along with this, uh, I'll include the link here, but we can see here the last time that the site was published and then the current test site when it was created and who created it. And we can see the exposure level. So if you did want to AB test this, you can edit the exposure. So maybe if you do want to do a true 50 50 or a lot of times for a regular release, I might maybe recommend like a smaller number, especially if it's something you're a little unsure about because a 50 50 split would be again, a customer has a one in two chance of either they land on a test site or they land on the original version of the site. So you probably want to increment this slowly, maybe like 10, 20, if things look really good, then you probably want to move on up from there. Um, but just for the purpose of this example, I want to showcase 50, 50, um, it does take a few minutes probably for it to actually reflect and do that AB testing. So I wouldn't go crazy going to the site and refreshing it or doing incognito. I was trying to do that and it does take a few minutes for it to actually reflect that exposure level. So again, maybe don't tell your clients hey yeah go refresh and you should see it again it'll be 50 50 chance of you seeing it this way or this way and again ideally that's not the point you're probably gonna mess with the conversions if you do that anyway so just leave it alone check it out go through your analytics maybe after two weeks or so depends on the time frame that you want to check i feel like you probably want to leave it a little bit of time and then go through and see what's better but from there then let's say if after it's been two weeks, I'm gonna cut for and try to come back in two weeks and see, oh, okay, cool, the blue did do better. I'll probably update this maybe afterwards once I see a little bit better results. Um, but let's say the test version of the site does win. So in the options, you actually do have the ability to publish this version. What that does then is it goes into the editor and it publishes the site. If you want to discard it, maybe meaning that the live version performed better, I can discard this and just start a new. So for now, I'm not necessarily going to touch it or maybe I'll just discard it because again, I'm going to come back to it. It'll give you that warning. And there you go. One other note is if you do try to create another test version of the site, it does let you know that you already have a published version of the site. So it's going to send you to the release manager to discard the old one. So you can have multiple versions of it. And again, ideally you don't want to have 
wholesale changes and maybe check it out. Generally, you want to be incremental with it as well. Like, let me change this out and change this out. Unless you're doing a whole rebrand and you want maybe to get the general impression of what people think about it. Again, that you might maybe want to roll out slowly too. So there's good reasons to do both options. But yeah, I think with that, I don't think there's necessarily much more to say about it. Uh, again, I guess maybe I'll let you guys know about this and see what my results are. I'll probably include them in the comments. But yeah, with that, definitely let me know if any questions about this particular uh, feature. If there's anything maybe you want to know about it, maybe I can follow up on this on, hey, here's how you attract this and here's how you check that all out. Uh, I figure if you're interested in this, you might already know how to do that aspect. But if not, maybe I can go ahead and do that and follow up on that. But yeah, with that, thank you so much, everyone. Appreciate it. Have a good rest of the day and bye for now.